Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a review of the Gaburui Caliber from Juden Sentai Kyojur. Um, obviously this is a sword weapon, if you can't tell. I'm going to go ahead and go over the box. I apologize, it has a hard time fitting into frame. Frame? It has a hard time fitting into frame. Uh, frame, excuse me. So um, we'll just go over it real quick. Um, so as per usual, obviously you get a picture of the toy if you couldn't tell. Uh, you got a picture of Kyojur Red over there on the side. Uh, here is the battery you get with it. Um, you only get one. And then you get a cool picture that was also on the box for the gun on top. Uh, it says Galbreen Show on the, on, the, uh, on the side of the top. There we go. We got an action shot of him. It's very hard to see because this is a very stretched space. Action shot of Kyoryu Red again being all like, hey, check out the sword. Um, and then on the back, uh, you get a picture of the sword. Um, it shows how it folds up. And it shows how the batteries work, um, how the toy works, how it can combine with the Gaburu caliber. I mean... The, Combined with itself, uh, combined with the uh, Gabba revolver and the other things in the line, um, and then it shows a cool action shot of all of them at the bottom. So now let's go ahead and get this out here and bring the actual sword. All right, in. So here we have it out of box. Um, it's packed in sword mode, so I just decided to leave it like that. Um, so to start, I'll say I really like the design of it. I think it's pretty awesome looking. Um, you got like this dino head with this awesome sword blade horn coming off of it, and it's just a really cool design in general for me. I quite enjoy it. Um, detail wise, it does look pretty good. Um, you got primarily gray here, some red for around the eyes, gold for the blade in the top, and then mainly black and a little red. So it's pretty basic, um, but overall I think it looks good. It is a nice shelf display piece. Size-wise, it's not too terrible. I'd say it's somewhere in the middle. It probably could be a bit longer um, if you'd like it to, but it doesn't feel that small. I think it's just because of the heft of it. Like I said, the blade could be a bit smaller, but it doesn't feel um, like super small, like possibly the Mega Force weapons. Um, but it's, it's somewhere in the middle of too small and uh, just right. Um, here's the other side. But so, yeah, it's, it's an okay size, and it looks fine. Alright, so for starting on the sounds, I'm going to press this, and it will turn on. And as you can see, it's got a light in the eye, so that is very cool. Um, so in this mode, all you get for uh, right now is just a slashing noise by pressing that button. And you can do rapid fire if you'd like to, and that is all it does without a battery or anything. I mean, the battery doesn't really do anything for it. So as you saw, um, it comes with a Judenshi, a beast battery, so right here is very cool. It is the Alomeris, like I said, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I really do not care. Um, so as you can see, it's got a sparkly version back there, you got the little picture, press the button, x-ray version. So very cool. Um, you got its unique little uh, symbol right here. Um, it's very similar to Gabu Tears actually, um, but this is number 15. Pretty much the same as you saw in the Gabo Revolver, just a different dinosaur, so very cool. That is the battery gimmick, obviously. Alright, now we're just going to go over the sounds for the battery that you give it, the Alamaris. So uh, here we have the Gabo Revolver. So first we will do its sounds on its own. So place it in. Okay, so you can do the transformation with it. Now we have its final attack noise. Alright, so now we will do its noises uh, for when you have two batteries in it. So right now it is on the bottom. Uh, Gabu Tiro will be our guinea pig today and he will go on top. That's what she said. Oops, forgot, completely forgot to do that. Alright, so now we will switch them out, and Gabutier will now take the bottom slot. Gotta make sure it goes in all the way. So now, uh, for what right, this so does with the battery, uh, you pull down the mouth here, and it'll make that sort of loading noise, and you can just load this in here. It'll make sort of a confirmation noise, and then it'll say Gabrincho, and that is it. It does not read it at all. Um, and when you press slash, it does the same exact slash. Um, and now the only thing else you can do is you pull this uh, lever here, and it'll make that jingle. 
and we'll say Vamela. Or as I like to say, Pamela. And that is all it does on its own. It doesn't matter how many times you do this. You will always just get Pamela. And that is literally all it does. The slashing noises, the noises for actually putting the battery in, and then that final attack noise, it does not have any sort of battery reader in it whatsoever. But um, its coolest function is that it can combine with the Gabu revolver. So to do that, it's actually very easy. Uh, there's a button here, so you press it, and you're going to fold this down, snap it in here, and then just fold the blade here, and you get its fold-up mode, which uh, is very neatly compact and nice. Still kind of wish they would have packed this in box like this to make the box smaller. Um, so now we are going to bring in the Gabba revolver. I mean, the only thing you have to do to prep this is on, just so you know, is uh, pull that up. And then you're going to slide this in here. Uh, this part will slide in here, and the nose, or the nostrils, will click into here. There you so. go. Okay, so now they are combined. I'm going to try my best to get a, a pan shot. There we go. There you have uh, the Gaburu cannon. It is the most awesome Sentai weapon I have ever seen in my life. That thing is freaking amazing looking. I absolutely love it. Um, it looks awesome just sitting there like on a display. Uh, you got like the two dinosaur heads, like it really flows into each other nicely to make this really awesome looking weapon. Um, it's a great size, like I said it's kind of hard in the space here, but it fits nicely into both hands. Um, it feels like uh, an actual weapon, which kind of sounds weird, but um, it's a great size if you're walking around with it um, and just messing with it, it just like it feels nice, got a nice heft, feels like an actual weapon. It looks awesome, I absolutely love the design. Like I I said I love how it flows into each other it just looks badass it's probably easily my favorite Sentai weapon um, of all time together so uh, very very cool um, noise wise you don't get that much um, if you press the trigger here it'll make a single fire noise like that and then it's better to do rapid fire by holding it and then you get the pump action here which will just basically make these noises we'll say Vamela can press that. Mucho. And then it'll just keep doing it. And see, that's it. Vamela and Mucho, and then those noises, regular noises again. Vamela. And that is literally it. Um, it does nothing else in the way of sounds, which is very disappointing, but it still looks awesome. Um, and you can have batteries in there, but it doesn't affect anything. Whether you have, obviously, it doesn't affect it in here, regardless. But you can have batteries in here, batteries anywhere, and it uh, it doesn't affect it. Um, so now to pull it out, just press these two buttons, and don't hold on to this, so it'll stay. And it'll make that noise, and we will get this back into sword mode for final verdict. I forgot to mention in my Gabba Revolver review, but I did find it funny that it doesn't come with actual batteries. Because um, it just requires uh, two AAAs, and it doesn't come with batteries. This does, because it comes with those little, you know, small circular batteries that you have to go to, like, a special section to find. But anyhow, um... The final sort of verdict for this weapon is very strange for me because uh, it's almost split down the middle is that I really love all the design aspects but the sounds I don't. Um, I love the design of it on its own like this, I think it's a cool design. When it's combined with the Gabba revolver it looks absolutely amazing and awesome like I said my favorite Sentai weapon. Um, but the noises leave a lot to be desired. This thing only has got like three sounds, you only get a couple additional sounds out of the uh, revolver, so it's very difficult to recommend. Um, if you are big in like the display and want something that looks really cool, I can recommend it to go with Gabba revolver because the, you just can't beat that awesome weapon. But sound-wise, it's not really worth it. So I do I only recommend it if you're going if you really want the combined mode or if you're going after the batteries since this comes with another battery. Potentially wait for it to go on sale to get it a little bit cheaper so it's more worth it. But um, yeah, like if you're just trying to be frugal, I would definitely just get the Gabu revolver and uh, skip this. But I do recommend uh, trying to get this later at a cheaper point just to get um, the combined mode because it is awesome. It's very unfortunate that it doesn't have a little bit more sounds to make it an overall recommendation as opposed to like a conditional one. 
But so anyway, uh, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at Writers Rangers and Rambles. Until next time, this is Dawson Ryder, signing out.